friends, welcome to Carrie's Culinary Crafts, where we talk all things food. And today we are doing some chicken thighs in the Instant Pot, uh, along with some rice. So this is a new recipe, never made it before. And my son's girlfriend is here for dinner, so hopefully it turns out. Um, but, so come along with me and let's make some dinner together. Now I am doing the chicken thighs. I have bone in chicken thighs. I am doing the chicken thighs in the Instant Pot, but I wanna go ahead and sear them first. So I'm heating up my cast iron skillet here and I'm going to uh, sear on both sides the chicken breasts after I season them up. So this is heating up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up and season my chicken thighs. I am going to put one glove on so I can use one hand to touch chicken. Now, can you guys see what I'm doing here? gonna go ahead and salt and pepper this first side don't be afraid to use seasoning seasonings guys um, and of course my garlic powder Do you know what? I'm going to use my smoked paprika too. You guys know I love my smoked paprika. Okay, there is one side seasoned up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add coconut oil to my pan here. I like to use coconut oil um, in cast iron because it has a higher smoke point. And it smells wonderful when it's melting. in there or not, but we will find out. Oh, it feels really hot, so let me take a look-see and see if we're ready to go. Oh yeah, nice sizzle. So I'm putting the season side down, which also happens to be the skin side. Looks like I'm gonna fit four in here. So I'll just go ahead and start with that. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and season the other side. Okay. 
Now remember guys, we are not cooking these chicken thighs the whole way through. We are just searing them on both sides. And then we will cook them in the instant pot. Along with some rice. And if you guys were with me earlier when I found this and said I wanted to go ahead and use it, I've never used tried it before, but it sounded interesting. So it's something that I got from TJ Maxx. So we'll try it together. All right. Let me see how we're doing here. Uh, a little bit longer, I think. So then I can just put the chicken directly in this when it's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and cook some rice. And I have some brown rice here that I'm going to use. water. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some chicken stock because I have plenty of it. Now since I used two cups of rice, I'm going to use four cups of chicken stock. Um, I would have normally just grabbed a quart, but these are in the, the case that I need to use up because these are both from 1021. So I'm going to go ahead and use these up first. Just 
about done. Flip them back over on the first side for just a minute. Okay, these are nice and done on both sides. Not done, they are um, seared on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these to my instant pot. And then I'm gonna cook these other two chicken breasts. Okay, we are good to go, folks. All right, take that off the hot burner. And there's what it looks like in my Instant Pot. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this mustard barbecue sauce. Going over here with the Instant Pot. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Put it on my lid. Push it to seal. And then I'm gonna come down and do pressure cook. And I'm gonna do nine minutes. And that should be good to go. I will check it just to make sure the chicken is done. Uh, and as long as it's done, then it, I'll just leave it in the Instant Pot on the warm setting till it's dinner time. And I'll bring it back when I plate it up. Okay, using up more of my pantry. I decided to um, check in my pantry at the green beans. Instead of grabbing from my shelf, the fresh ones from last year. This was uh, best used by November, 2022. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this can of green beans as opposed to my home can green beans that I just did last year. So another thing out of the pantry. Okay, now my Instant Pot uh, just finished, and I'm gonna go ahead and vent this, uh, mainly because I wanna check the chicken to make sure it's okay. Um, I've never done this recipe before, so I don't wanna let it just main, or just um, vent on its own in case it's not done yet. So I want to I want to know if I have to put it in for more time. So I'm going to go ahead and vent this so I can open it. Okay, so you want to wait until all of the steam is done venting and this little button falls back down. And then that means that all the pressure has been released and you're safe to go ahead and open the top. There we go, button fell down. Now you wanna open this away from you so any steam doesn't go in your face. Ooh, still boiling down there. Okay, well I'm gonna pull one of these out and we're going to Check the temperature. And this one is more than done enough. You know what, let me find a big one. Okay, this looks like the biggest one. Just double check that one. 
And that one's good to go to. They're all above 165. So, we shall do a taste. Make sure the rice is done. I'm not loving it. I'm definitely not loving it. It sounded so much better than it tastes. That rice almost needs a little more time, unfortunately, because I already left out all that pressure. I know what I can do. Because I bet you the chicken is really good. It's just the rice I'm not sold on. that rice okay I am going to put it back on for a little bit let's do pressure cook five minutes we'll do five minutes And, whoa, this chicken looks very good. So I'm going to go ahead and still try the chicken, and I'm going to make some mashed potatoes to go on the side. And then maybe we'll have some rice. I'll bring you back when it's time. So we shall see if this is a fail or not. Um, this is as close as a fail that I got for a very long time. Um, but saved by the instant mashed potatoes, I am finishing cooking up the rice. So we will have chicken, we'll have mashed potatoes, we'll have green beans, and there will be some rice. Um, but if it's a fail for anybody, you know, my son's girlfriend is here, um, my 15 year old son. So luckily she's been around with me cooking before. So, but if this doesn't work out, I have some seafood pasta left over from last night. So we shall see. Okay guys, it's after dinner. Everything's cleaned up. Rice definitely was not a hit. Um, yeah, definitely that sauce on the rice was a no-go. The chicken was awesome. Um, that sauce tastes awesome on the chicken. So the chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans was a hit. Rice was not. I had one bite of it and said, nope, nope. My husband had a couple bites. He said it was all right, but the more you ate, the sweeter it got. So... He was like, nope. And uh, 
my son tried a bite and said, nope. So rice with that sauce, definitely not a hit. So if you get the sauce, stick with just putting it on the chicken. The chicken was excellent, excellent. And there you have it. There's a partial fail, but the rest was okay. All right, guys, this is Carrie's Culinary Crafts, and I will see you again soon. Bye, friends.